Albuquerque's Diego Sanchez, who has not fought at lightweight since 2009, is considering a move. Again, that last fight, of course, was against BJ Penn for the 155-pound title. Uh, he hinted at it to a couple of websites that he would be entertaining the move down from 170, again, a 15-pound cut. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works for him now at this stage of his career. So we'll keep you informed on, you know, when he comes back. It's been about a year since he last fought. Uh, another local guy, Damasio Page, will be fighting Friday night, again Friday, on Access TV against Alexander Pantoja in a fight that has been dubbed a cross-promotional bout, Access TV Fights Championship. Uh, the Page, of course, the legacy champion, will be taking on RFA flyweight Alexander Pantoja in a fight that's set to take place probably around 9 p.m. Mountain Time that night. Uh, so they'll, the winner will be dubbed uh, Axis TV's champions. No word on what happens and if one guy loses the title, if they actually lose it just because they're fighting for this mythical championship. Uh, Demacio Page, of course, is hoping that this is his ticket to the UFC. Local action, Buffalo Thunder, the takeover will be taking place Saturday night. Patrick Holmes Jr. will be featured on the card, along with Antonio Martinez, of course, of Española. Jody Esquibel will also be on the card fighting for an NABF light flyweight championship. Uh, we'll have Jody here shortly, and Antonio, of course, to kind of go through that interview process and discuss and hype up the bout that they'll be taking, that'll be taking place at Buffalo Thunder for them, respectively. Another fight taking place three miles down the road from that. Tony Valdez is in action. Rumble at the Rock, Jose Luis Sanchez, and... Jason Sanchez, as well as Angelo Leo, always entertaining Angelo Leo, will also be on that card. So two fights taking place within five miles of one another. Central New Mexico, you have a pretty tough choice as to which bout you want to catch. A lot of action, it looks like, is going to be promised on both of them. In more local news, this guy, he's not local, he's from Australia. Anthony, Anthony Mundine has pulled out of a fight against Austin Trout. The two guys have had beef since 2011. Fight, for whatever reason, just can be made. Uh, Mundine had to pull out of this fight due to a perforated eardrum. Of course, he has to force to withdraw from the PBC on CBS fight. PBS, PBC, excuse me, CBS representatives are looking for a replacement for Austin Trout, so hopefully his fight will still be aired. We're done with the local headlines. Let's jump right into the highlights. Saturday night, MGM Grand, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather in a fight that was dubbed Fight of the Century. Now, we're only 15 years into this century, so hopefully, you know, Another fight of the century will come up here soon. Manny Pacquiao tried his best, despite the fact having what was told or to the media afterward that he had an injured shoulder. Pacquiao is due to have surgery. He's going to be out nine to 12 months. They're saying Mayweather has, you know, suggested that he would take another fight against Pacquiao a year from now. But you know, I think most of us would like him to fight in September, finish out his contract with Showtime, but l look at this action. It was just a lot of counter-punching from Floyd Mayweather. He obviously knew he had this one easily. An easy, unanimous decision for Floyd Mayweather over Manny Pacquiao in a what a lot of people feel was a lackluster fight. Uh, more action from earlier that night, co main event. This guy, Leo Santa Cruz, a guy that's been hyped for a few years, took on Jose Cayetano, a relatively unknown fighter, but despite Santa Cruz being a 101 favorite, Cayetano stuck it out for a while and, and gave Santa Cruz hell. So hopefully you know, a big fight on his way will actually come about and we'll finally have a superstar fighter against Leo Santa Cruz. Another guy who's just been dubbed a world champion, Ray Beltran against Ao took place uh, Thursday night, for Friday night, it took place at the top rank card. Look at this, over the top right hand, Beltran is the new WBO champion. He lost, you know, if you believe in karma, he was robbed out of a fight against Ricky Burns in England about a year ago. He then fought for the same title against Terence Crawford. He lost that fight, but here was Raymond Beltran fighting for this, the vacant WBO title and just giving it to him. Like two rounds in, he knew he needed a knockout. There was no way he was gonna get robbed again. You see Tony Weeks waiting to jump in there. Look at that, hard left hook. Tony Weeks coming to save the day. Ray Beltran, a new champion. Of course, train out of Arizona. Let's stick locally. Let's bring it back to New Mexico. Two guys and a girl, I should say, a guy and a girl who will be fighting on the Buffalo Thunder card. Jody Esquivel and Antonio Martinez will join us shortly. We'll catch you guys after the break. Is he here? 